Hey guys, it's Rai and uh, welcome to my Q&A slash FAQ video? Question mark? I've been meaning to do one of these for a little while now uh, just because every time I go through the comments in my videos I get anywhere between 5 to about 20 of the same recurring comments. So I thought I'd like try to address some of them in this video. Although most of you probably won't even watch this video. I know. Some of these questions are a little bit not really cosplay related, hence why Q&A slash FAQ. Yeah, let's get started with these questions. Question number one is from Comic Sand Cosplay and they ask, do you store your fabulousness in bags, boxes and buckets? I actually like storing it in cans so my hair always is on point and then I can spray it at people when they least expect it. Next question! Uh, this one is from Dream Melt um, and they ask OTPs with a question mark. Where do I even begin with this? There are so many. Naruto and Hinato. They're just so cute. It was pretty satisfying when they got together in the end, so yeah, I'll, I'll say them. The next question is from my lovely friend, SL Cos. She asks, Do I get another photo for my birthday this year? If you guys are wondering what the photo is, uh, yeah, I'll just quickly flash it here and then you guys can pretend you never saw it. Moving on, next question. Also from another of my lovely friends, Conran, she asks, Why are you so attractive? Because I'm actually not. I just put a lot of makeup on my face to make myself look attractive. It is lies! They're all lies. Next question is from King Koyomi and they ask how many rise does it take to screw in a light bulb? I don't know. One, I guess? So moving on to the Facebook question. First question is from Alex Law. What is the most difficult task you have done in the name of cosplay? Armor, I guess? Armor building? Next question is from May Hikari and she asks, what is your shoe size? Platform. Too big for you to handle. Next questions, I guess I can combine these two because they're from the same person, are from Sean Fernandez. The first one he asks is, if I run at a wall really hard, will a seagull poop? Maybe? I don't know. I guess you could test it out. And the second question he asks is, why does my knee and elbow click sometimes? You don't have enough lube. Next question! From Megan Hall. How do you design your different eyeliner techniques for different characters? Well, in terms of my eyeliner techniques that I do for characters, to be honest, like, to myself, they all look the same. Generally, they all sort of follow a similar guideline, I guess. It's a bit different for each person, but personally, the way I do it is I just look at the character, I look at the reference, and I try to copy that onto my own eye. All the while considering some sense of realism to it, like what would that character look like in real life and what is their eye shape like and what does that translate to in real life. So it's kind of a bit more convincing, so yeah, that's kind of what I do. Question is from Kimi Ho. Do you like cheese? Yes! My favourite is Gouda. Question from Torin L.A. Griffith. Why are you so pretty? Again, like I said, I just pile on a ton of makeup on my face and that fixes it somewhat. From Sarah Levitu, how did you first become interested in cosplay and who was your first cosplay? I actually don't really remember how I became interested but I'm pretty sure back in the day a friend actually introduced me to conventions. So I went online to have a look and I found cosplay through that and discovered how people like dress up as their favorite characters and actually go to these conventions. So that's kind of the first I guess experience I had with cosplay and then my first cosplay this is so weeby but my first cosplay was an army black ops ninja there are photos somewhere but I'm not willing to show you guys this is so bad the next question is from Amy Liu she asks what's my favorite cosplay so far and why my favorite cosplay so far is probably Archer, just because of how comfortable he is. Well, relatively comfortable, and because like it was the first time I actually attempted a lot of things on that outfit. So I'm quite proud of how I made him. He's definitely my favorite so far. The last of the Facebook questions are from Matt Murphy. 
What is your most ambitious cosplay to date? That's probably going to be my Sumagi cosplay from Knights of Sidonia, if you guys know that series. I plan to make her this year at some point, probably when I finish my course, so that'll be in the next couple of months. Um, yeah, and have that ready to go for Smash. So. I think that's been my most like ambitious cosplay to date. Finally moving on to the FAQ part of this video. These are just some questions I took from YouTube in some of my videos and also they're questions I get asked pretty frequently in person when people meet me. First one is what eyeliner do you use? That's a close-up of the eyeliner I use. This is the Shiseido Automatic Fine Eyeliner in black. Um, and it has like a brush tip which auto dispenses the product when you press the button at the end. Absolute favourite, um, it's not waterproof but uh, I find that it stays on the eye really well. It doesn't smudge or um, doesn't move. So close with the precision. Precision is everything darling. Uh, the next question is also something I get asked pretty frequently. What concealer do you use? So the concealer I use is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Flawless Concealer. It's a liquid concealer, so it comes in this tube with an applicator. It covers absolutely everything. The one I have is the colour O2 Light Medium, which is actually too light for me, but I like it because it sort of highlights my dark areas as well. Really lightweight, doesn't feel thick. It doesn't crease, which is really good because my eyes just crease all over the place. Favourite concealer has to be this one. Moving on to the next question, where do you buy your wigs? This is a question I get asked literally on every single one of my tutorials. <laughs> every single one of them. I buy my wigs on eBay, no real particular seller. Or oh, the other site I use is called Taobao and that's a Chinese site, kind of like Chinese eBay. It's super, super cheap wigs, really lovely quality. It might be a little harder to purchase on the site just because it's all in Chinese. But um, another easy way to access that site is through an agent. You can speak to an agent and they'll be able to help you through like the process of getting things and then shipping it and all that good stuff. The third option of where I get my wigs from is secondhand or from friends or other cosplayers as well. It's a really good way to reuse and recycle. So those are kind of the three ways I purchase my wigs. eBay, Taobao and secondhand. Coinciding with the previous question as well, this is something I get asked a lot too. How many wigs do you own? Just so you know, this one is pretty self-explanatory. That was only half of my wig collection as well. Now for the final question and probably my most asked question ever. Are you a girl or a boy? I'll just let you interpret that as you like. Gold star for all of you. So yeah, that brings us to the end of my Q&A slash FAQ video. I hope you enjoyed it and that I answered some of your questions and queries. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And click subscribe down below to keep updated with all of my latest makeup tutorials. Thank you so much again guys and I will see you in the next video.